Hello, everybody. Here in the U.S., Thanksgiving is rapidly approaching, so I wanted to get a Thanksgiving card out to you because this year is going to be especially important to keep in touch with our loved ones, and what better way than with homemade cards. So we're going to focus on these leaf dies, and we are going to do some ink blending. And I'm going to use these enamel dots as embellishing, so I'm going to base the colors off of my enamel dots. So I'm going to pull out my color chart. This is how I store um, all the samples of my ink colors. And I'm going to pick out a red, a yellow, and a green, very autumnal colors. And with as many ink colors as I own, you'd think I would be able to find an exact match, but no. So I just had to get as close as I could, especially here with the greens. If you haven't made a slimline card before, the dimensions are 8.5 by 3.5, so it'll use the full width of a standard sheet of paper. And I'm going to use my trimmer that also does scoring, so I'm going to go ahead and score it at the first 3.5, and, and then I will move it over and cut it at the next 3.5. And, and I find that doing it this way gives me a cleaner edge instead of cutting the full width and then scoring it in the middle. Um, I always mute and never seem to get the middle quite right. This way works better for me. So save that extra piece of paper because this is where we're gonna start our color blending and our die cutting. So I plan on die cutting at least three leaves and I want one leaf to focus on each of the three colors in my card. Now each leaf will have all the colors, but I'm going to um, color blend these areas so that one of the colors is much heavier for each of the leaves. And I pull out my dies to kind of size which leaf I want to be on which blob of color. And once I have that decided, then I can add my third color to each section. And then I can um, go back in if I need a little bit more of something, then I can go back in and add to that area. So this one right here, you can see I'm doing heavier with the green. The one on the bottom, I think I will go back and add more yellow to because I want that one to be much heavier in the yellow. And yes, here I am, I grabbed the ink and I added more yellow to it so that it would focus on the yellow. And then I've got the one that focuses on the red. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this micropore tape to hold my dies down just where I want those color portions to be when I run it through my die cut machine. And then this die set had a uh, another smaller leaf die, so I'm gonna um, cut out a few more of those to give myself some more images to work with. And if you don't have leaf dies, there are alternatives. Maybe you have an electronic die cutting machine, maybe not. Maybe you could stamp and fussy cut and ink blend. Maybe you've got some punches, or you could always download and print images from the internet. As long as you're not making money off of it, it's perfectly okay. All right, with all my leaves done, I am ready to move on to ink blending the main panel, and I'm going to divide this card into three sections, and each section is gonna be about one and three sixteenths of an inch. So I'm gonna work from the edge of my cardstock and make a mark at one and three sixteenths, and then I'm gonna move my ruler to that mark and then make another mark at one and three sixteenths, and that will give me roughly equal um, divisions. Now I'm gonna do that up high and low, and then draw a line in between and then use my micro pour tape to mask off my card so that I can do my ink blending in these straight straightish rows. And I am going to do kind of a tiered um, ink blend with this. My yellow is going to be uh, longer than my other two colors will and you'll see that as I keep working. Um, I will cover up my tape line or my pencil lines rather with the tape before I'm working because if you ink over the pencil lines, it can trap the pencil underneath and you may end up seeing it. So I'm sure to cover up that um, pencil before I start inking. And then I can erase those pencil lines once I have removed my tape. So there is, I covered up both the left and right side so I could ink the red down the middle. And here I am erasing those pencil lines that were protected by the tape. And then I've got this final panel to ink up. And I did uh, use fresh tape um, for most of these. That way I wouldn't transfer ink from the tape um, onto the project. And I'm not sure if this, uh, this tape would do that, but if you use something like washi tape, if you don't have any of this tape, um, it might have a glossy surface that may transfer inks. So you might wanna use fresh tape each time. 
All right, with my um, little rows there, I'm just going to pop up my main leaves and put them into each of their color zones to kind of match up. Now, I didn't want them to be entirely one color because they would blend in too much, and that will come up here in a second when I put on these smaller leaves. So giving them a little bit of a range of color helps them stand out a little bit more. And you can see that one little red leaf at the top there kind of blends in a little too much, but that's okay, it's still working for me. And then I go ahead and add in just a sprinkling of these enamel dots onto each color zone, and I just kind of keep them in their own zones. And then um, I will turn to stamping the greeting next. And I am ready to add my greeting. I am just using a standard greeting set and I'm gonna use my favorite very crisply stamping black ink, which is a VersaFine black ink. It's currently my favorite right now. And I just wanted to show this because you don't have to have any slimline specialty products in order to make slimline cards. Um, these sentiments tend to be pretty small on a slimline card, but if you have this design element, that draws the eye down to the greeting, then you've given it more emphasis without having to use any different products. So that is it for this time. I will leave you with some still photos. And with these cards, I plan to set up an assembly line and make a whole bunch of them and send them out to friends and family. I hope you will join me in making some Thanksgiving cards to send out to your loved ones, and I will see you next time.